Hey there everyone! I'm doing something completely, totally different today. I'm going to be attempting to do a Japanese candy kit. And this is the one that I received in my kawaii box that I showed you all. If you want to see that video, I will put a link down in the description. Um, but anyways, I'm not sure how to pronounce the name of this candy kit, but I will put the title on the title of this video, so if you're interested, that's where it is, because I don't know how to pronounce some things. Um, anyways, the packaging of this is so cute, and I have never done a candy kit before, so I'm not an expert. I am just learning as I go. I thought this would be fun to show you all, and I received this in... Um, that quiet box so I thought I'd show you guys. So here is the back of the packaging. You saw the front already and the instructions are in Japanese but I did look up guides on how to do this so hopefully this will go well. Hopefully the front is very very cute. Okay so let's open it. Oh by the way this is made by Crazy. So it's like a uh, poppin' cooking. Yeah see poppin' cooking. There's no cooking involved, though. No cooking involved. Oh my gosh! So we have our little molds here. That is so cute. Can you guys see that? There's a panda and a bird, a giraffe and balloons. This is so adorable. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Okay, and then we also have this yellow packet, which is a coloring packet, a red packet, and a blue packet. Then we also get um, these two pieces of, of white candy. It's like edible um, candy clay, I guess, because you can mold it. So that's interesting. We have this little tray here as well, and this is where we're gonna be putting in the colors and we're going to be coloring um, the molded shapes in this little tray. So first I'm going to cut off these little tools because we need these for the kit. So we have this little tool here um, and this tool will be our dropper right at the top here for water. You have to add water to the color mixes and then this is our stir here to stir up the mixes. And then we have this other tool here, which we will be folding, hopefully. This tool will help us color the molds or the, the molded candy. So that's what that is for. So now that we have our tools, let's start molding here. I take one of these little candy packets. I'm going to start molding it. Take off a little piece here. Make the panda first. And then we just press it in the mold. It kind of feels like sticky clay. And then you just do this for a while, I guess. Might use the magic of editing and just like fast forward through this. Should I sing you guys a little song while I'm doing this or? You don't want to hear me sing. Probably don't want to hear me sing. I like to hear me sing. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is taking so long. So now we're gonna do the giraffe. Okay, here's our second little candy thing. Tearing off some pieces. It smells really good. It smells very sweet. Very sweet candy. So if you guys like watching me do these candy kits, I ordered some more already <laughs> because I've been really into this lately and I've been like frying my brain with lots of YouTube watching of these candy kits. So <laughs> um, they're a lot of fun to watch. It's kind of mesmerizing to watch people make these and try them and I don't know, I just like watching it. And I ordered some, like the hamburger kit or whatever that you've probably seen a lot of different people do. I know Mommy and Gracie Show did it and Graveyard Girl did it and like everyone has done it so I'm curious about it. 
So that's what they look like in the mold. So I have some leftover candy, so I'm going to eat it. That candy's actually really good. It doesn't have a definite flavor, it's just very sweet. Okay, so now we're going to make our colors. We're gonna cut, cut open each packet here and then dump it in the little tray here. Dump faster. Come on. What does this smell like? Maybe lemon? I don't know. The dust just like poofed up in my face. Mmm, <laughs> powder. Okay. So there's the first one. The blue one. Okay, so now we got to do the red one as well. Let me put it in this one. This smells like cherry or something. Like red flavored. <laughs> red flavored. Some kind of red fruit flavored thing. It smells like cherry. Now that we have our three powders and I got stuff everywhere. So now I have a water bottle here and we're going to pour some water into this little tiny dropper. We got to do one scoop in each one and one there as well. So then we have to stir. By the way the water that I put down here is supposed to clean your tools with if you want. I might have to do that. So we just stir. Oh, I got some yellow in my blue. Oh no. <laughs> We're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. <laughs> okay, then we stir up the blue one. Stir, 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 uh, stir. Keep stirring. So now we're gonna mix, a, mix up, make a, make a mix up our red or pink or kind of looks pink. Now, get some of that powder on my tray. Um, we are going to mix some colors because we only have three colors. So we're gonna mix some and make more. So we're gonna take some of this and put it down here. And mix those, oh my gosh, it's so tiny to mix in. So then we get purple and then we're gonna do yellow and red or pink or whatever it is and we're gonna make orange and then we're going to do blue and yellow and we're gonna make green yay green okay so we're gonna grab our candy dish here and we're gonna pop one of them out Start with something easy like the balloons. There's my little balloons. So now I'm gonna color this with this tool right here, the little sharp tool. And let's see, let's try and color what we can and see how see how we do this. I have to stay in the lines. I'm a little scared about this. I'm so scared I'm gonna mess up. Oh, I want it to look beautiful. Okay, and then we're gonna make a purple balloon. Okay, looking good. Okay, then we're going to do a blue balloon. Oh my gosh, I like to color, but this is hard. Okay, we're getting there. And then we're gonna do an orange one. Just like using all my colors because why not? Why not use all the colors? And then we're gonna do a green one. And then we're gonna fill in the little ends of the balloons here, maybe. Looking beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna color the bottom of it. I think that looks pretty good <laughs> for never doing this before. Here's what my balloons look like. I think I did pretty good. So now I'm gonna color this bird. This bird is looking quite beautiful. I think I'm done. This is what the bird looks like. I did orange and yellow and I tried to stay in the lines, it was really hard. 
So now I'm going to be coloring the giraffe. And you know what? Let's live a little. Let's do a pink giraffe. Oh my gosh, coloring around these spots is going to be so hard to do. Oh my gosh. Well, I got the legs done. <laughs> my giraffe is looking so good. Look at that pink giraffe. I'm actually like getting the hang of this tool a little bit better. So let's do yellow spots. I can do this. Uh, kind of. This kit is actually pretty fun. I like this. Now I'm going to also color green between the giraffe's legs for like grass or something. Yeah. Look at that giraffe. I'm actually pretty excited about how this giraffe turned out. Here is my super awesome pink giraffe with yellow spots. I'm actually pretty proud of that. Yeah. Now I saved the panda for last because I thought it would be the most difficult, but after the giraffe, I think I can do anything. Anything. So there is my panda. And I think I'm going to make a blue panda. Yippee. I have a smurf panda. I'm blue da ba dee. Oh wait, that's copyrighted, sorry. <laughs> Careful. Careful. I think the panda's turning out pretty good. I gave him little green eyes. Well, I made his eyes yellow and then I put little green pupils, I guess would be the best way to put it. Now I'm doing his bamboo. Now I'm going to give him a little green nose. Oh my goodness, that is so adorable. I thought I did pretty good. Look at that. So that is my panda. Looks like the green on his right eye ran, ran a little bit. But I think I did pretty good. It's a little tricky, but I think I nailed it. So here's my finished candies. I think they look pretty good. What do you guys think? And please be nice. <laughs> I actually think I did a pretty good job for never doing this before. So I'm going to taste them now because that is the most fun part, right? So I'm going to try the bird first. I really like that candy. That was really good. It was kind of like a starburst, but way softer. And, um, the coloring on it didn't really add too much of a flavor, just a little bit. It seemed like it made it a little more fruitier or something. Like not much though, but just a little bit. And I actually think that's really good. But the the coloring didn't really solidify or become gummy or anything, or it would just seemed liquidy. Um, um, which one do I want to do next? Let's do the giraffe. So yeah, that is really, really good candy. It's really chewy, like a Starburst except it's so much softer and um the coloring just adds a nice little light fruity scent like the giraffe tasted a little cherry like or at least it, it was kind of fragrant like a cherry so i think this candy is so good i wish there was more so the balloon candy was really really good um all the different colors were all the different flavors and it was really really good even though it was a tiny little candy and I really enjoyed this kit. It was so much fun. I really want to do more kits now, but I have to wait till they come in the mail. And um, let me know what you guys thought of this kit and let me know which one of my little candies was your favorite. And also, do you want to see more kits? Did you like this kit? Did you want to see something similar to this? Or you want to see something like the hamburger kit like I have coming in the mail? Um, I love to hear back from you guys. You guys are awesome and I love you all so much and you're so sweet and you guys are beautiful and amazing. But this um, candy is going towards going to my husband. So that's why he's still there. <laughs> Anyways, this was so much fun. I can't wait to do more. So I will see you all next time for another review or another video or whatever I happen to make. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! Bye, Panda!